Okay, so here's a video of a student with a limited hip and shoulder turn in the backswing. If we look at the swing before the lesson, on the left, when he gets to the top of the backswing, we're going to see a large tilt in his hips, left pelvic tilt. This is restricting his lower half turning in the backswing as he's holding this front leg in external rotation and not allowing his weight to go fully onto his trail leg. So if we look at the changes he made uh, by doing a simple drill where we used a alignment stick through his uh, belt buckle, we can see that when he swings back, the hips are much more level, he has a much bigger shoulder turn and we can see a much larger portion of his back here and if we go to an actual swing after only a few minutes we can see the same again here level hips in the back swing and a much greater shoulder turn than he had before and again you can see He's using more of his back here in the backswing, so quite a big difference in a short amount of time here. He was able to hit the ball much further uh, with these changes. And for those of you who like to use the alignment stick through the belt buckle like this, make sure that you're trying to keep this stick level, not pointing down at the ground in the backswing. Otherwise, you'll have a tendency for the front hip to want to rise in the downswing, which is going to stop hip rotation.